Hey, welcome back to our Minesweeper uh, project. We're ready to move on to part three, milestone three. And so we're going to start using recursion in our program, our Minesweeper program. So let's look at the details for milestone three. So in milestone three, you will use a recursion algorithm to develop a list of blocks that are cleared, we call them. And so this is, this is what will happen. So let's say a user here enters a uh, row 4 and column 6. And so when the 4, 6 is selected, we can see that there's no bomb there, and the bomb, uh, the squares around it immediately also do not have bombs. And so rapidly the board is cleared until we come to a place that uh, has a, a neighbor that has a bomb. So I'm going to jump ahead to the completed version where we have a graphical user interface. It's, it's easier to understand here. So when I click on the square at the top left corner, you can see that it has no bomb. And the recursive flood fill also cleared out all adjoining places that have no bombs until it comes to a place that has a neighbor with a bomb. And so the flood fill algorithm makes the game go much quicker. So if I select another square randomly, and I got lucky that this entire area doesn't have any bombs, and so it automatically cleared that for us. And so this is what the flood fill version of the game does for the player. Now, we're still working with the console app, so when we can still calculate flood fill and print the results, even though we're not working with a Windows app. So you'll create a method in your board called flood fill, and it will accept a row and a column name, and then it will recursively go and visit all the cells that are not uh, loaded with any bombs. And so this will be the most challenging, perhaps. It's the most computer science related project in the course, and it'll cause you some mind-bending problems if you're not good at uh, uh, figuring out algorithms. And so as a result, if you haven't done the activities yet, you should take a look at those because the activities on the recursion are great help in, in bringing you to this milestone. 